now just so that I can send you this after the fact. Um, yes. Yeah, so there, I jumped out, right? Like, you saw what happened there? You were above yeah. me. You were trying to recover. I jumped out. Now, what what a what a mid level player might have, or I mean, I'm you know what what a lower level player might have done is fared there, right? And been like, okay, I think he's going low. I'm gonna fare and catch him going low. I just jumped and waited to see what you would do. And what you did is you air dodged in. So I just did yeah. a double jump fare back. So a lot of times when you see crazy reads from from players. It's because they they took the time to put themselves in a position to get the read. It's not about necessarily knowing exactly what your opponent's going to do. It's about putting yourself in a position to cover as many options as possible. Okay. Right. And then, of course, you're, you know, the more of a read you have on your opponent, uh, the more you can start going for the riskier stuff. But you got to start with the basics. The basics is option coverage. Let's go into okay. a game real quick, and I'll and I'll show you something. Ready? Okay. All right, my girlfriend brought me a salad, so punch it a little bit, but. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Okay. So, let's say I'm above you, right? And um. You just hit me with like an up tilt or something. I'm up here. Yep. I have no double jump. Or I still have a double jump. What are you gonna do? Like, what are your options? Think of it that way. So, if you still have a double jump, if I run up, and, if I jump up and try to attack, you're just gonna double jump out of it. Right. But and then, and then I might I, like fast fall through, or yeah, yeah. I have options. Anyway, right. Keep so. To counter that, I could just jump up and bait you into double jumping, and then try to see if I can get a read on your movement and follow up from there. Exactly. And the thing is, if you bait me into double jumping, I'm in a much worse position all of a sudden. Because uh, now you haven't committed to anything, and I have one less resource. To now, if I'm above you, I have three or four options, right? I can either double jump to avoid your pressure. I can air dodge to the side to a platform or something. I could do like something funky like quick draw. Or that works too. But yeah. obviously we're we're talking about like uh, the default character here, not just like the yep. um, I can swing out of disadvantage, which Ike is pretty Ike is pretty bad at doing that. He doesn't have fast option. But a lot yeah. of characters are good at it. Like you think about like Yoshi from three Nair. They love yeah. to swing at a disadvantage. Yeah, Yoshi, Mario, Luigi. Yeah. Or I can double jump. So at all times, uh, and this is why matchup knowledge is such a huge thing, at all times you want to try to be completely aware of what your opponent could do and put yourself in a position to cover as much as possible. So if someone's above me, I'll either, like, I'll usually jump and just wait and see what they do the very first time anyway. And then okay. I'll I'll do like the least committal option I can do to cover some like I'll uh, I'll do a falling up air. So and the good thing about falling up air is that I can act right out of it. You know, if I do a rising up air, they see me commit and then they can do. Something. If I do a falling one, it can catch neutral air dodges. Uh, I can go back up if they double jump and and be in a good position. Okay. It's just it's just really good option coverage. Another cool thing about uh, falling up air is, uh, come stand right here, stand there. So, air here, whips, right? Air yep. doesn't hit. Well, okay, I, I move. Uh, it, it can, but if you, if you cross up or if you try to fast fall into it, yeah. Quickly. So, yeah. air misses here. Right, there's a range. Trying to hit. Air misses. Right here. Falling up air. Hits. It actually has more oh. range than air. <laughs> wow, Falling up that's... air hits even further in the back than air does. That's crazy, yeah. There's a little thing that Agmates don't know. Yeah, I've seen Raven's King do it a lot, but I never actually uh I never actually realized why, but yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, it's especially good on platforms. So 
Um, one more pressure thing. Play some more. Sure. Come here and shield on this platform and try to get off. Okay, and try to get off the platform now. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Let, let, let's do this in a more natural way. Here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to down throw fair you. Land on the platform and then try to get off of it. Okay. Yeah, I think I saw it. Or I'm just going to down throw and you drift. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. good. And even if you shield this, even if you shield... Yep. Even if you shield this, then what do you do? Yeah. Um, so oh, so what you. most people do, like, what's your first instinct when your shield gets hit on the platform? Like, how do you get out of that situation? Shield on a platform, usually it's jump. Exactly. Or... Jump. Yeah. So... If you know they're gonna jump, get get up here and let's do it again. I'm gonna pressure your shield with an up air and then you jump out. Yep. You can just do a, a quick little double jump and cover that. Okay. And uh, and it's not very committal because up air is pretty safe, and it it uh it catches jumps really well and like that's gonna work against 90% of the level players. Okay. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. All right, hold on. We should. Yeah. Okay. So that's just a little trick. It's not uh, game changing. It, it, it's really good. Uh, Ike's platform yeah. pressure. That's something I definitely want. To... Yeah, I saw one of your Twitter clips about that. I've been following your Twitter for like a couple of weeks now. Yeah, yeah. That is exactly it. That that was more about catching tech chases. The one with the Falcon, right? Yeah, the one with the Falcon. That was that was tech chases, but it seems like the same general thing applies for like yeah. platform coverage. Um, yeah, the the double jump to catch people jumping out of shield, it it honestly is a game changer for low level play. Like if you start doing that, you know, you're gonna be many players who are doing. Okay. Like, there's a reason why you never see even in a million years, you know, MK is never gonna lose round one pool. <laughs> like. Two. It's because there's certain tricks you can do that just work against every low level player in the world. And that's not going to help you win tournaments, but it'll help you not, you know. Okay, you're above me, so I'm covering your options with up air. But yeah, you just committed hard to a dash attack, and for what? You know? I'm at 13%. If you hit that dash attack, what do you gain out of it? You gain, you get like 15% damage, yeah. And you get to be an advantage, and that's nice. But if you miss, I get to blow you up. That's how good Ike's uh, combo game is, you know? Okay. So, if at early percent, you really only want to be pressuring with combo starters that are going to gain you a lot. Okay. So, so your nares and your down tilts, your back air is safe, so you can out. Falling up airs, um, grabs. That, that's what you want to be trying to get at early percent. It's all it risk reward, you know? The whole game okay. can be broken down into risk. What do I gain if I hit this? What do I lose if I miss it? That can be why characters like Ken and Luigi can be so hard to defeat it first. Because if you're not playing the risk reward game, then you can win neutral five times in a row and then get grabbed once. In a row. You know what I mean? Yeah. So neutral is the thing you want to work on most when it comes to being worth it that way. Punish game is great, but some characters are just always going to have a better punish game than I. Yep. I definitely noticed that. Oh, Ike's punish game is actually disgusting. Oh, that was okay. okay, cool. Very sober. Oh, yeah. I... Good angle. Yeah, and, and it's also got such a... So why? Even though it's got this, the only problem is that that little itty bitty stuff like it's not bad at all. Okay, 
so I'm watching what you're gonna do. Okay, you double jumped in. Good. Yeah, I was hoping you would roll in, I just didn't cover it right. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That was that was a good read. Counter and I died there. <laughs> I could have, but uh I just was not ready for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's he gonna do? Getting off light. Bro, non-committal stuff. And and the good thing about that fair is like you saw how far away from you I spaced it, right? Yeah. So even if I miss that, I'm not actually risking anything. So okay. so so much of what uh people really need to learn to get good at the game is what is worth risking and what isn't, and how often you can actually win an interaction without risking anything at all. Okay. Ready? So yeah, if you in go general, back... You, in, in general, would you say that means playing neutral more patiently? Oh, of course, yeah. Got Not it. just patiently, though, but... but like, One. Safely, or safely. Okay. Like, you never want to unsafely space Nair. Um, uh, you should be down tilting. Okay. Just because it's so good at covering a lot of options. So it, it takes time to learn, and it's gonna. Uh, one cool thing about down tilt is that it's actually exactly as fast as crab. They're both frame seven. Yeah. yeah, and his and his down tilt's got more range on it. Oh yeah, and really good combo potential. Yeah, I actually practiced the hell out of three points. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I pra I practiced that down tilt back air combo. That, yeah. Uh, down tilt bear, down tilt up bear. Carrying is very good too. Yeah. I, I get a down to it. Okay. In theory, I should die out. Okay, you had a, a good oh, yeah. idea. I would just counter. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, well, counter is just more reliable. Yeah, I mean, down air is more consistent if you can get it for. Uh, counter yeah. is. Harder to screw up. Yep. Down tilt instead of fair. Yeah, down tilt's a lot faster. Than yeah. F tilt's actually kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I kind of like it. I like the. Sometimes I like the uh, back here in the F tilt. Yeah, uh, F-Tilt's F really good because it, uh, it's safe and it kills, but if the opponent isn't, it kills for you know, it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it's just gonna push him back. Yeah, it, I mean, it's good, it does damage, but down tilt will get yeah. you more. Yep. So, is there anything specific, uh, that you wanted to talk about? Ask about? Uh, I mean, you've covered a lot of points that I think I had trouble with lately. Just the neutral and the recovery. Uh, specific I want to talk about. Eh. I mean, <laughs> go Biden. <laughs> I'll say that much. Two, one, yeah. That was, uh, my Twitter is exploding about that right now. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, I need to stop on tilting. That's like a bad habit. Uh, like, yeah. Well, not like off the bat, like that in after pay. It's not the worst. It's not, it's not the best either. Yeah, up tilt is good. Um, if you put something in on you, it's probably our best anti here. If you see there, I waited for you. You had no jump and you air dodge, so I had a guaranteed trap there. Yeah. Yep, so, yep. Again, it's about being patient with your option. Um, you drift in too much. Like I keep getting these back airs because you're just kind of drifting in it, not expecting me to challenge it. Okay. I think probably because against probably don't do that. Um, 
idea. But, uh, yeah, you gotta be careful with recovery. Um, you know, that's just a matter of playing against good people, seeing what gets punished. Because you thought I was going to commit something, I chose not to. Probably should be grabbing me. Yeah. I kind of... I get kind of, like, iffy about Ice Grab just because he's got... His grab range is so... I play against people who say like, his characters which he can grab. Yeah, it's nice range six, but it's so much off of a crab that you see definitely have to be just about no okay. and it's gonna hit and win. Nice, okay, so you chose a different option that time. You've been air dodging H I've been punishing it that second. Okay. Yep. Which is good. It's good to mix like that. Nice. So yeah, you have not been run up grabbing me at all. So I've just been shielding it. That's been my whole yep. game plan. Then you you recognize that, you went into a grab. Good. Yeah. Okay, you have no double it. jump, so oh, I could have gotten that quick shot on you. Yeah, you're, and you're reading my gathers. Nice. You gotta make sure you're getting the most you can off of the grab. Though. Down throw fair, it's probably the best bet. Down throw up air, also, obviously. Yep. Okay, you air out. Yeah. 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 Dash tech is so good. Especially those directional air dodges. Like, you have no option. Yeah. It kills at 80, isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it good. I mean, when you're not on the receiving end, you're right at the butt. Good time to be an Ike main, though. I agree. After 8.0, I really, really felt like I had a lot more options. Pretty great. Um, I think it got a lot harder. But he also got a lot deep, you know? Yeah, he's got more down throw. So yeah, I think you're just not doing it, like, you see me coming, and instead of trying to react to the move I'm doing, react to my movement, you know? Okay. Like, uh, uh -huh. you, you saw me coming out there towards you, so, he, since I back aired every time I've done that, you gotta know it's coming. And then eventually it becomes a mind game of will I won't, or won't I? Um, you know, that's Smash. That's where Smash actually is. In the will he do the mix up? Not the mix up, you know? Yeah, that, that's the, the final frontier game. But at the start of it, you gotta know, like, I'm going to go out there because I haven't failed at it yet. You know what I mean? You haven't uh, avoided it yet. Okay, so I, I must move forward. So you, you need to consider your off stage options more. Uh, I, I've noticed you do every single time. What you do is you drift back to stage height and you quick draw, right? And you're like, I gotta save my jump. I gotta save my jump. So I'm gonna drift back and then quick draw. In theory, that's good. But you have more options than you um, Let me show you all the recovery options. You just go over. Um, when do you. I really wish that there was like a good training mode. Three, yeah. Two, one, go! Okay, so double jump, quick draw. That's the standard, right? That's what everyone yeah. does. 
They're sitting at disadvantage. They double jump. They, uh, and that's... I keep expecting you to do that, so that's why I'm going out there and I'm back airing, and it's catching you a lot. Uh, the bad option that you want to almost always avoid, Aether. Yep. You know the drawbacks of this. Um, but one thing most people don't seem to consider, that you could always just do this, and I, I screwed it up because I was facing backwards. You could always just double jump air dodge, and Ike's air dodge is actually not bad at all. You know? Yeah, it's... It's decent, and I I try to do the air dodge when I can to avoid losing Aether when I'm like below the stage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just haven't put it into practice much because it's it's very hit or miss because there's a lot of end lag on his air dodge. Like if you miss it, you're done. Oh yeah, if you miss it, you're dead. But like he's got pretty good magnet hand. Like you see that? Do it from pretty far away. Grab ledge. So yeah. if you're right here, there's no reason why you can't double jump air dodge. One thing to keep in mind, though, is your magnet hands are better facing towards the ledge than away. You have to, uh, you snap from further away when you're facing ledge than when you're facing away. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so that could be very confusing. But at the same time, you know, air dodging to ledge is something you definitely need to have in your repertoire. Uh, air dodging in general, uh, something... Uh, do you ever uh, fast fall neutral air dodge as an option to leave? Fast fall neutral air dodge. Oh uh, no, I've never actually done any. I don't think I've ever done a non-directional air dodge actually. Okay, well that that is huge, it, uh, because you don't have the lag that you have from an air dodge. That makes sense. Yeah. So you fast fall first, and then you neutral air dodge, and then you can act right out of it. It's it's got very little landing. Back. See, yeah, yeah. That that was an air dodge down. You don't want to air dodge down because then you're stuck just like a normal. You do a fast fall and then you air dodge during your fast fall. There okay. You go. And then you can act right out of it. Like do it and then jab, and you'll see how fast it is to become actionable. See? Yeah. Yeah, I see that. That's really handy. So that that's an that's another really good option. And if you like, this is that's it's something a lot of people don't notice when they watch top level players. Go watch any Leo VOD, he's doing it constantly. Like, it's such a good landing option. And people get it confused with air dodging downward, but you see how much slower air dodging downward is than yeah. fast falling into air dodge? Yeah, yeah, I was never aware of that. That's actually, I've seen a lot of characters, I've seen a lot of top level players actually do that, but that's never actually. Yeah. 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 Really yeah, important. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drill that in. So yeah, that, that's that's a big thing, and again, uh, escaping disadvantage, massive. Ready? Uh, getting good in there. Okay, yeah. Three, um, two, after this game, I'm. One, go. Okay. Got away with it. Yeah. I don't usually like. It, there's like a split camp on it in this. But I don't usually like the eruption. Uh, I find it. Yeah. There's a lot uh, of I, easier ways to edge guard Ike. By the way, if you want to learn how to do ladder combos, I can the guy. That yeah, I actually just saw that. I, I've been practicing this for pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, it's not really a guide, it's just like a, a guide on how to practice it. Yeah. But the big key is to play your second arrow. Really. I just like, I said that in the video, I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's a big thing. If you notice someone's carrying a lot, uh, tomahawk grab. You know what a tomahawk is, right? 
Yeah, Tomahawk, the landing grab. Yeah, yeah. You, you just do a short hop, you fake, and then you grab. Uh, and that's how you counter people from the area a lot. Yep. One of the main ways to do it. The other ways to mix up your timings. So. Yep. Uh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead too. <laughs> <laughs> double jump, so I know that you don't have a lot of options. Pick the safest one. Yeah. That that'll often force people to uh Make a choice instead of just covering option. Because you, I can't cover uh, air dodge to platform and pass on air dodge at the same time. Since so those are your two options, I have to guess and pick one. It makes it a lot harder to keep the disadvantage. I thought you killed me for a second. I wasn't sure. I thought so too. I thought uh, if I had a little more charge, I might have had the armor. I must move forward. Yeah. yeah, the armor only lasts for like three or four frames. It's yeah, but that's only at mid max charge too. Yeah. I don't think I was that far. But you definitely can't rely like, on it. Yeah, it's like three to four seconds. All right, who does uh, other than Ken? Because I, I I'm hopeless with Ken. Um, do you play against play? Uh, the one I want to get better against is K. Rule. K. Rule, I can do that. Yeah, because I, he, a lot of the things you pointed out, he's super good at punishing, um, especially online. So, and my friend is a very, very punished heavy player. So. Uh, so yeah. He's very good at that. Um, I would just say the biggest thing, if I were you, is make sure that all of your nares are spaced. Uh, and you know what I mean by that, right? Yeah, make sure that they're not, make sure that I don't, like, land right next to them. Yeah, ma make time. sure that you can't be shield grabbed even if, like, you know, you do it high up. So, does he crown a lot? Oh, yeah, he crown, he'll crown, and then he'll He'll crown and he'll do the yeah he'll do the blunderbuster and grab down down throw to uh he'll do the very throw yeah that uh, that was bad. You had the right idea with the neutral air dodge there. You just gotta aether right away. Okay. Uh, that last throw, I think, was you were just giving it up. Yeah, it, you ended yeah. up getting it back anyway, but yeah, that was not. Trying to go for the sucking cup? Uh, not really. I was trying to get you from the back where I knew you would have a hitbox. Throw you off stage. Okay. Yeah, if you had air dodged and then like jumped A through you find it back, that's good. Ah, I'd probably make it though. Yeah, I've done that a couple times, gone for the gone for the Yeah, it's it's always better to do it in friendlies. And get yeah. a get a feel for what you can and can't do than to do it in yeah. tournament and just lose. Yep. Yep. Uh there's like two philosophies when it comes to practice. Some people play every single friendly like it's a tournament match. 
but I prefer to, uh, to use it as a testing ground, you know, to use it to, to test the limits of what my character can do and stuff. And I think there's room for both. You you definitely want to treat some of them like a tournament match. Yeah. It's like, it's different, it's different kind of, kinds of ways for your, uh... It's like different kinds of ways for your, uh... Exactly. He does that a lot, though. The, the down throw, down throw and, and, yeah. Mash out read. Yeah, it becomes like a 50 That's basically the same thing I was doing with Ike's uh, back air. In general, just don't be predictable in your recovery. Oh, I keep forgetting Kayrill actually has a counter. I don't even need to be doing this fancy stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's mostly just whiff punishing and reading your offstage habits. Uh, your disadvantage state, I'd say, is currently your weakest. Okay. Because your advantage state's actually pretty good. Like, you're you're finding openings once you... Once you find an opening, you're doing a good job of, like, making sure I die when I should. Um, okay. But your neutral is very unsafe. You're not spacing well. Um... Basically, you want to make sure that the nares you're landing are always at, like, with the tip of the sword. Um, but not always. I mean, and one one thing about nares is it is safe on shield, so you can use it as a bait. Like, if you land a nair on shield and you think they're going to shield grab you, you can just spot dodge most of the time, you know? Um, and that actually works. If you space nair low to the ground, it is safe on shield. Only minus five. I'd say it's very common for players to have a much better advantage state than anything else. Yeah. Um, that's because it's just so much easier to practice. Yeah, if you do not practice, it's easy to do in training. Yeah, it's easy to practice combos. It's very hard to practice covering. Just uh, a read on your mash. Most people, the very first time, mash as hard as they can. That's how that works. And then they'll like start delaying their mash, and then it just becomes a big read fest. Did I B reverse pick up that crown? That was so strange looking. 
<laughs> that was really weird. I think you pick, well, you pick up the crown like you normally pick up, then you throw it. Oh. oh yeah, you double jump quick draw, so. Okay, so that's it. If you double jump quick draw, you don't get the ball. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay. So that, there, you have 60 frames after your quick draw hits someone before you go into special fall. And that's always okay. true. Here, I'll show you. We go like. Ready? Oh, sorry. You're good. Choose your fight. fight. So yeah, you have exactly 60 frames, so that's exactly one second. After your quick draw connects with someone or something, before you go into special fall. Okay. So that means okay. that if you don't either Aether, jump, or air dodge in that one second time frame, you die. So you okay. stand on this platform. So, can quick draw and then, well, okay. I can't do it because uh, no time. Here, stand right where I'm standing. Okay. Hey, watch. Come on, do it again. Just like the edge of this platform. Stand there, and then watch me after I hit you. See? Okay. So, but if I wait too long, do it again. If I wait too long, Ike goes into a different animation and you can't act during it at all. Right. So okay. yeah, so you can jump out of it, you can air dodge out of it, or you can aether out of it. But uh, but only in the first second after you connect with someone. Okay. Just a good thing to know. We can play if you want to take your stock. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll go. Do you know about canceling quick draw, like landing lag? Um, no. Okay, that's really important to know as well. Um, so if you quick draw on the ground and then try to jab, do you see how long that took? Yeah. There, there's like a lot of lag for grounded quick draw. And if you quick draw from really high up, and then you try to jab, you see how long that was? Yeah. But then watch this. Okay. So, you know how I said it takes 60 seconds to go into special fall? Yeah. Or 60 frames, sorry. Yeah. If you land before the special fall starts, you can act out of it. And there's almost no lag. And that can be used as a bait. Like, you'll see people, like, quick draw over the heads of their opponent and then just dash tech like this. And, and it's a huge, like, movement mix-up. Um, so, yeah, that's something to be aware of. You can also fast fall during it. So if you're doing like this and you fast fall, you'll be able to act faster because you won't fall, go into special fall. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's a height thing. You, you want to be no higher than, like, one Ike height you let go of it okay and you can feel the difference you know yeah i i can i can tell the difference with that yeah uh versus grounded or special fall yep yeah okay uh here i'll just i'll dump the stock and we can fight okay mm. all, right. all right let's go okay See how much less lag it has when you like, yeah. So you, so you can actually just use it as a movement option in all the cases. <laughs> Gotta be careful with those landings.
I wasn't sure you were going to make that. I wasn't going to do that. Uh, don't counter often. I just made a guess there. Got lucky. Um, uh, oh, yeah. No, no, that absolutely... I, I don't counter at all. I get punished for so hard. Yeah, time. yeah. I, I'll mix in one or two a set, just to keep my opponent honest. But yeah. It's not a good option. Too slow. So yeah, you're you're getting caught in that exact position for like three out of four of the stocks I take from you. Yeah. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, yep. Okay, well, we'll we'll do a couple more. Or okay, so we have about twenty minutes left. Okay. Um, what? How do you want to spend it? We could look at a vod, or we could keep playing, uh, or you could ask me questions. Uh, let's keep playing. I kind of, I'm, I'm better off at like more okay. of a kinesthetic learner. And, and like I, like I said, I, I will send you this vod, uh, yeah. and you can study it and see the openings that I'm taking, um, and also yeah. I'm recording your voices. Yeah. Show me for reference. Yeah. Just if you want to review later. That jab into down tilt is just a little mix up I do sometimes. It's not actually like a real combo or anything. Ooh, I like that back air there. That was a, a clever way to cover your yeah. cover yourself. Okay, almost caught you with it again. Yeah. So basically, just finding opportunities to back area is a is a big way of taking stocks here. You know, that's actually a true combo. Back air into uh, grab. Back air into oh, grab. Okay. <laughs> it's not something that comes up often, but yeah, if you land a back air while drifting into your opponent at zero, you can grab him. Okay. You can do it with fair too, but only with like one very specific hitbox. It's not really worth learning, I'm just telling you facts. Okay. Alright, so you're not really hitting much in disadvantage there. Like that, You should be neutral air dodging or jumping there and okay. mixing up which one you do. Because the, the fact that you're kind of, like you're holding in it seems like. Um, are you aware of like how you should usually be uh, DI'ing during a combo? I have not practiced good DI a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much just, I'm pretty, I'm, like, I'm not aware of it when that's happening. Yeah. yeah, I'm holding in just because I want to get back to stage. Yeah, that, that is the worst thing you can do. Uh, it's going to get you absolutely blown up every time. Like, you want to DI up and away, or down and away, depending on the, on the opponent. Uh, yeah. for Ike, you almost always want to be holding up and away. Okay. Uh, for like Captain Falcon, it's down and away, and then like it gets a lot deeper than that, where some combos are down and away, some are up and away. But away is almost always going to be the answer, uh, okay. because you want to get you want to get away from their follow-up hit. If you're not in immediate danger of dying to the next hit, then you have no reason to be um, dying in, because you're Ike. You can recover from anywhere uh, horizontally, you know. Yeah. So yeah, make sure you're trying to DI up and away as much as possible during my combos to make them less true. Okay, you used your double jump, so now you're dead. That's one thing you want to be paying. You know about the little white circle that appears when someone double jumps? Yeah, uh, yeah, the little error. Yeah, so uh, often, like, you want to be looking out for those. Because if that happens and you get hit immediately, that means your double jump's gone. Um, so yeah, you want to always be aware of those. Okay, sorry, we can fight. Okay. See these, how hard it is to get in on these retreating up airs? Yeah. There you go, you just did one. 
and it, it true combos into a lot of stuff. Up air is like as good as Nair at combo starting, it's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get more into it. It's also just way safer than Nair in a lot of situations. Good pair. They're, they have like the same shield safety, but uh, up air just hits in like such a nice area above you. Yeah. It, it's got so much more coverage above you. Yeah. I'm not saying don't use Nair. Obviously, Nair is still an amazing combo tool. But there's just situations where up air is better. So, just so you know, I mean, the Ike did is its own special beast. Uh, a lot of what I'm doing to you is just me knowing specifically how to edge, our, edge guard Ike from playing this ditto constantly. Yep. Falling down the back. Falling down the edge back. But yeah, neutral air dodge is almost always going to be better than directional, by the way. So you got to keep that in mind. Right. Yeah, I've got to... It's not drilled into my muscle. Anyway, right? I'm, still, yeah. I'm just doing directional and I have it. I just... Well, you you know you can act immediately after a directional air dodge, right? Or right. sorry, sorry, after a neutral air dodge. Um, uh, go ahead. I'll, I'll show you at the start of this. Um, let me go someone fast. Is, uh, fast characters are where you can really see your mistakes because they can whip punish everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, this is just a game mechanic thing. Um, so if you directional air dodge, you can do nothing after. You know that, right? Uh, for, yeah. for like, I don't know if it's like 60 frames or something, but look, like, I can't jump thing until I hit the ground. But if I neutral air dodge, uh, I can do, a, I can act much faster. Uh, it's it's really only easy to see off stage. Um, so if I directional air dodge, I can't double jump till I'm down there. You see that? But if I neutral air dodge, I can double jump much higher. You get you become actionable much faster. Okay. Yeah, I see. Oh, I'm seeing where that where that applies now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so up here, um, here, I'll just, I'll directional air dodge and then spam Nair. You see, it never came out at all. But if I air dodge and then spam Nair, the animation at least starts. See? You see the difference? It's huge, actually. Versus... So yeah, directional air dodges are generally a less of a commitment. That's why uh, fast fall neutral air dodge is so good too. But like, look at fast fallers when they fast fall neutral air dodge. Look at look at Joker. How do you punish that? Yeah. How do you punish that? That's so fast, and he's invulnerable all the way down. So yeah, that's a tool you definitely need to be aware of. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's let's fight. Okay. And this will teach you the importance of DI too. Because uh, Joker's combos are very, like, he has to go for different combo trees depending on his opponent's DI. Yeah. See, like, this right here? I can loop you forever there, but only if you don't DI out. If you DI out and up, I can't get those combos on you. Really 
I actually play Joker on the set, so I do, I know some. I do, I do like, I think that he's really good, yeah. He's probably the character I've put in the second most time into. But I don't really have a true secondary. I don't have anything like any any character I call a secondary right now. I'm an actual so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that down is really good too. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I DI'd that well. <laughs> <laughs> Now Arsene back here. Arguably the best move in the game. Oh yeah. Nice. I always get disappointed when Arson comes out because I'm always having so much fun playing Joker. And then I'm like, oh, now I have to play Arson. So much less fun. Yeah, he's just not as fun. I don't know. <laughs> like, he's bot. He, like, he's OP, but base Joker is so much more fun. Yeah. It's also easier to punish his recovery. That's true, I'd say. Yeah. Depending on the character, but in general, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, at least Jokers, you have multiple options. Like, you clean mm -hmm. the leg. It's yeah, it's a lot easier to two frame Arsene. Yeah, that's straight in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's done. Say what? 
So lame. <laughs> yeah, uh, the fucking counter was, I hate it. Yeah, it's broken, but you know, you gotta use it. <laughs> I schmoove and schmoove and then I just get dash attacks. Is this what it's like to play against Psych? Is this what it's like to be a Pichu? <laughs> but it almost worked. Frame four counter. <laughs> Ike's is frame eight, if you were curious. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. I, I could probably look it up. I've got UFD, I've just never really... No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, Joker's is literally twice as fast. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Isn't Shulk's like almost that fast. Uh Shulk's is frame seven, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. But, but yeah, that... it doesn't work very well. Nope. Yeah, this is also kind of a isn't this one of Ike's like you said the pages matchup, so I'm more like this. It depends on who you ask. Um but a lot yeah, I mean in general yes. I personally don't struggle with it that much, but Raven King hates it. Or he doesn't even hate it, he just thinks Joker wins. Yeah, because he, well, he, he, he ults Joker, right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think he's just biased to get, biased for characters he plays. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Uh, no, a lot of people hate this matchup. There's not any, like, really good Jokers in my region, except for one. But I have I do as well against him, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, me, it, it just depends on who you ask, really. Yeah, I don't really have any. I haven't played any. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad to be getting some Joker coaching too. Uh, what region are you in? I am in. I'm in Maryland. Maryland. Okay, you got a really robust scene there. Yeah, good. I'm literally ten minutes from there. Oh, that's awesome. I, I, I really you know, George is awesome, but man, I wish I'd lived in Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah, you live near SmashCon, you, you live near everything. Yeah, I just, I wish I'd known about it. Well, I, ha I never really got into... Uh, I never really got into Smash. Uh, I didn't get into Smash that much before Ultimate, because I stopped at Ultimate. Honestly, yeah, me too, actually. I, I loved Ike at, uh, in Brawl, just because he had run speed, he had power, he had all kinds of creatures. Like, he was playing on mine, I was like, I could do a lot of really... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I took, I your, I took your jump. You were dead anyway, but... Yeah. Anytime I can get a kill with base Joker, I'm gonna do it, because the... he's cool, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what I think of what I think that will do. Oh. What'd you say? <laughs> uh I literally just I literally forgot. Oh. <laughs> Alright, one more game and then uh, I'll answer any wrap up questions you have. Sure. That'll work. 
who do you want me to play? Uh, why not just do? Let's tell you what. Uh, why don't we Joker Ditto? You want a Joker Ditto? Okay, I'm down. Uh, just so you know, I I'm not a Joker coach. I'm just. <laughs> Uh, the, the the main reason I'm able to beat you with these other characters is is not because I'm good with those characters. It's because I know Ike's weaknesses really, really, really well. Yeah, it's all yeah, I'm sure, and it's also just because I'm not quite. It's it's my general. It's my it's my game and my neutral play and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm but sure. but especially with Ike, <laughs> like, yeah. I just I just know how to I know how to gimp Ike with any character in this game just from having played him so much and playing against him. So. Three. Two, yep. One, go! I try to have that way. One thing I don't do enough with characters like Joker is I never ash attack. Because <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> And like his smash attacks are broken, so I should be. bad at doing it from on stage, but Ooh. might have killed me actually. <laughs> at 57%, eh, probably not. Not not for mid stage. I'm town and city with rage. I don't know. Oh man, Joker's pretty good. You're right. Oh. Would have, but it would have been close. With rage? Yeah, I never accounted rage. Yeah, I, I, it would have been close, but it would have been scary. It watching a video that if you double jump, that if you double jump, uh, that double jump is from ledge is an effect of the if they don't get a few. Mm -hmm. so, I tried to grapple you again, <laughs> and the guy <laughs> arsen right as it happened. Why do his throws, like, I'm always like, ah, Joker's throw combos are kind of fake at higher percent, and then I see that his throw itself did 16%, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. that Joker can make it back after doing that edge guard. Such a good character. <laughs> yeah, he's so, that is so deep. That is just, that's like Marina Trench deep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, that's just about an hour and 10 minutes. And uh, I, I was 10 minutes late, so I give you a little extra time. Uh, but I, I want to leave, uh, I don't want to leave any questions that you might have unanswered. So shoot, yeah. any anything you want to know specifically while you got Mayer? Uh, just kind, of, just to kind of review. So, most of what I should work on is the neutral, the spacing, and the disadvantage state. Yes. Um. Again, the big concept that I want to pound into your head is the is risk reward. Risk reward. You right. don't want to take big risks unless you stand to gain something big from it. Um. Okay. So that that is really important, especially in regards to things like frame safety. On shield, like you understand how safety on shield works, right? 
shield lag versus shield stun. Uh, so if I say something is minus three on shield, do you know what that means? That means I've got th I have three more frames to act before the other person can come out of shield and do something. Uh, it's actually the other way around. Uh, if something's minus three, then you are. Th then the other person is actionable three frames before you are. But because they're stuck in shield, you know, they have to get out of shield. And getting out of shield takes frames, usually. It's 11 frames to drop shield. Unless you do an out of shield option like a beat up, smash, or grab. Right? Exactly, yes. So grab actually is. Um, grab is around. Is frame 11 out of shield for most characters. Uh, because okay. their shield gets stunned when they get hit. So. Shield grabs end up being like frame 11 instead of frame 7 or 6 okay. or whatever. Um, so, uh, you want to be thinking, like, make sure you look at all of Ike's frame data and you see exactly how punishable a lot of his stuff is. Like, dash attack is like minus 19. So if your dash attack is someone's shield, they usually have time to drop shield and do whatever the hell they want. They can grab you. They can... <laughs> use any tilt attacks so you only you want to save those big unsafe reads for times when they're going to have the most impact okay yeah so at higher percents yeah in general yes at higher percents or at times when you know for sure you're gonna hit okay. like if you're catching a landing or something um I, a lot of times we would just be dashing around in neutral and then suddenly you would dash attack my shield and yeah. or you would dash attack me and I would have time to shield it and then just punish you. And, yeah. and that just opens you up for free for no reason. Uh, and, and again, the biggest thing about that is even if that hits at most, you're getting 12%, you know, it's just like not that big of a deal. And at worst, you're taking 40 from my, rec my response combo. Yeah. So yeah, that that's neutral. Ne neutral is the concept of understanding the risk reward of every action you take and always having a plan. Okay, got it. Yeah, so that that would be the biggest takeaway for me. Uh, other than that, uh, I was mostly just blowing up your disadvantage state. Uh, mix up your recoveries more. Go low without aethering if you can. Um, mix up between quick drawing straight to ledge and double jump quick drawing and you know air dodging to ledge just experiment whenever you get sent at a disadvantage and don't panic okay and then di out way more you'd be diing out every combo pretty much either okay. up and out or down and out depending on the combo but pretty much everything needs to be di'd away from your opponent to avoid combos as much as possible yeah, especially because Ike's technically one of the... He's a heavyweight character. Yeah, he's so. easy to combo. So DI becomes super, super important getting out of stuff. Okay. Yeah, th those would be the big notes. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, I'll shoot you this VOD later today uh, so that you can look over it if you want. And uh, l let me know if you stay a Patreon uh, if you want to do this again next month. Yep, sure thing. All right, sounds good. You have a good one, man. You too, dude.